anytime you don't win, it's a setback of sorts, right? But when you win, it's a step forward. But a setback to what? We're not going to win every game. So that means every team in the world has a lot of setbacks by that definition. Um, it's not a win, so we're disappointed. It seems like standard seems to be established. Maybe four years ago, Bob lost his job after a poor showing. Do you, do you think that's a reasonable assumption to say that the standard is to win and if you don't, it costs you? No, I don't think that's a reasonable assumption. Why, why is it different this time? I mean, listen, we, I said it the last time, we don't make judgments based on one game. Um, and, you know, we don't, we don't go in and renew a contract because we beat Germany and Holland away from home, and we don't make a change here. Um, so there's, there's, no, it, it's not, there's no parallels in all of this. You're it, happy with how the team has been playing since the World Cup? I'm happy with parts of that, yeah. I was very happy beating Germany and Holland back-to-back. -back. Less happy about losing to Jamaica and drawing with Panama today. So there's mixed results right through. Um, and this obviously was a big result because it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a competitive environment and it's a tournament we wanted to win. So that's a disappointment. There's no this, two ways about this that. Team, we got some other people that want to come in as well. It's still so heavily reliant on Clint and Michael. Clint scored seven goals. Michael's playing two or three positions at once. Brad Guzan. Is, 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 over the last two or three years, are we seeing a new crop of guys in their early to mid-20s coming in who are going to be able to sort of take the mantle from some of well, these older players? I think you have seen that. Um, in this tournament, I'd, I'd agree. Obviously, Clint scored almost all of our goals. But if you look at the spring games and the lead-up, or, you know, Bobby Wood scored a goal, yeah. and a few other guys that, okay. you know, people didn't know. So I think there's, there's all that through. And we look at all of that as we move forward. And, you know, there's no, hey, we were building and we're still building. The Gold Cup was a critical competition. Jurgen knows it, the players know it, we all know it. And we didn't achieve what we wanted. We go on to the next thing, which is the the, the playoff game, and then the, the start of World Cup qualifying. If you lose that playoff game, is there? Would you start looking at things a little differently? You start looking at Jurgen's job, security job. No, well, let's get past today. We had a disappointment today, and, and you know, I'm not going to speculate on stuff that's three or four months away when we're not sure who we're playing or where we're playing, and you know, I'm not sure if we lose the second game in qualifying in the hexagonal, what we might do either. I mean, it's simulated so, satisfied. Organization with the Gold Cup as a whole, and your role with Todd Cap, how Listen, um, for, for many parts of it, it went very well. Um, and obviously, things changed with a tumultuous set of circumstances on Wednesday. Um, so, operationally and organizationally, a lot of the tournament went very well record attendance, record TV ratings. Obviously, Wednesday you know, was very controversial, but you saw something else come out of Wednesday, which is it's almost you know, never the case where an official and an organization admit that there was an error. Uh, and Kaka did that, and Mark did that. He's a he's an excellent referee. He was refereed at top level, refereed a World Cup final at U20s, and he accepted the fact that he made some mistakes that impacted the game. Those happen. Um, it's what's rare is not that those happen, that people stepped up and said it happened, and you know, um, and so that was that was a problem. But organizationally and operationally. I think if you talk to most of the teams, I understand the Mexican coach had some comments about charters. Talk to our team. And aside from the usual issues, it's a lot of games in a short period of time. Everyone's in those same circumstances with a lot of travel. That's been the case, you know, ever since 95 or 98. Do you foresee changes in structure, changes in the amount of venues? You know, we'll look at all of that now that this tournament is over. Um, we'll, look at, we'll look at all of those things. Uh, you know, people, uh, the staff will look at... Uh, every part of it, from travel to roster size to all of those things. Tried to deal with some of that by the ability to change players in the middle of the competition. Uh, we've done that in the past, but this was more players than we've had in the past, which obviously gives you a chance to get some fresh players in. So we'll look at all of those things for sure. Did you ask, who role are you seeing this team make progress nationally? Listen, prog you know, I often say progress is not linear for anyone. So you don't go like this. There's bumps along the way. This is clearly a bump. So if you said, you know, the team is certainly on a high in the spring with the results that I talked about, and today's a low. Um, it's pretty straightforward. But those are the norm for everyone because you don't go through and win all games. Is is Argentina, you know, not happy about qualifying for the Confederations Cup, of course, and Brazil being out. But they don't panic and throw everything out. So um, we're making progress in certain areas and, and less so in other areas. And that's really a question for Jurgen. What areas do you see them making?